this is a photograph that can no longer be taken. In other words, in terms of sight. Uh, the sight is the intersection of the 605 and the 10 freeway. And on the eastern side, you will see a series of uh, palm trees. And if you scrutinize it closely, you will see that the sun is rising. And so it's, it's at dawn and these palm trees are sort of the markers for for Southern California. They also, by, by having been taken uh, within very short intermittent moments, there's a repetition of the palm tree, which sets up a visual staccato. And in fact, just like the way in which you're sampling something, when you're sampling things, you can uh, increase the beat, you can uh, repeat things, you can let them go. And so when you're looking at these pictures, you are starting at the top and you're really close up. But what really happens is that you start at the bottom and move towards the top in terms of the passage. You're approaching the palm trees and then drive by them, which gives the shift in scale. These pieces are out of a flow of practice. And what happened is that I no longer could drive because I broke my leg. And so somebody else was driving and I was able to photograph from the passenger position in the same direction, but it gave a completely different view of things because not only were there now two people in the car, the driver and myself, but it also um, gave access to different layers of time. In other words, if there are two people during rush hour, they can go into the diamond lane and travel fast. The traffic that is coming at you on the opposite side of the freeway is also in the diamond lane, travels really fast. Next to that is the slow traffic of the traffic that is stuck. So you get one movement and a counter movement and a counter movement and so there's a layering of movements that happens simultaneously and the only thing that is really stable is the middle distance and the far distance where you're looking at the landscape and so it's the playing of those things against each other and trying to create some sort of musical array that is at stake.